your job is not stable. Just let that sink in for a moment. Let me say it again. Your job is not stable. As some of you may know, I am leaving what seems to be a stable job. I'm leaving a six-figure salary as an ethical hacker in the field of cybersecurity to try to build something of my own. I'm focusing full-time on teaching and mentoring as well as doing some solo cybersecurity work via a pen testing firm I'm going to be starting in the fall. One of the most common questions I've gotten is, Tyler, how can you possibly leave a stable job with a stable income to go into such an uncertain future? But behind that question, I think there's a faulty assumption. And the faulty assumption is that really any job is stable. I mean, take a look at the job market today with the influence of AI and CEOs trying to fix up their budget to make more money, people are being laid off and cut right and left. During Simply Cyber, a show I was hosting this week, today I met with Daniel Laurie. He joined for the panel discussion and he was working an amazing job as an instructor for 10 years. Seemed to be like his long-term role. And one day he was called into a Zoom call and he was laid off. 10 years of loyalty repaid with being, hey, Sorry, we're letting you go. The reality is your job is not stable and there's a few takeaways that you really need to take to heart. Number one, do not sacrifice to build something that's not your own. You see, I made this mistake early on in my career, many times in my career, where I would work in the evening for my employer. I would build stuff for my employer when it was on my own time. And what I realized is like, what am I doing? Guys, if you're gonna sacrifice evenings, and sacrifice your own time. Do it to build something of your own. Don't sacrifice your time to build something for someone else. Number two, recognizing that your job is not stable, you need to redefine from where you get your identity. We have this really messed up approach to life, especially in the Western world, where when you meet someone, one of the first questions you ask is, hey, what do you do for a living? And then I say, well, I work in cyber, I'm on pen tester, blah, blah. But here's the thing. That question in and of itself shows us that we are defining ourselves in the wrong way. If you define yourself by your job, then when you're laid off, when your job is no longer stable, you are crushed because you just lost your identity. When you define yourself by your job, you will quite literally kill yourself. You will sacrifice your family on this altar of success, whatever that looks like, only to realize that once you become successful, you are still empty because you're defining yourself by the wrong things. See, friends, we're human beings. It's a little bit cliche, but you're a human being, not a human doing. Life is much more important about the person you are becoming and less about the work you are doing. So recognizing that your job is unstable, you need to learn to find your identity in different places. For me, faith is a big part of my life, but I don't know what that would be for you. But if you find your identity in your job title or in your salary or in your output, that is a recipe for disaster, burnout, depression, and mental illness. Finally, recognizing that your job isn't stable, you need to be what my friend Jerry says, the CEO of yourself, which I know sounds a little bit strange at first, but what that means is you need to control really where you're gonna go in your life. You cannot rely on an employer to promote you or give you money. You should be building your own platform. You should be involved in some type of personal branding. Maybe it's starting a YouTube channel. Maybe it's starting a blog. Personal branding, I don't even like to use that phrase because it sounds too influencery. But what I mean by personal branding is what are you doing right now to give back to the community around you? You see, about three years ago, I started this YouTube channel with a video talking about how I graduated from WGU. I didn't think anyone would watch it. That was three years ago. Now, three years forward, I am pursuing this thing full time. Starting October 1st, I'm done with my current job and I'm doing this solo between YouTube, hanging out with you guys, creating courses, doing contract work for teaching, doing contract work for pen testing, starting my own pen testing firm, going solo. I don't know if it'll succeed. If it quote unquote fails, I've already succeeded by giving a shot and also recognizing that my job isn't what provides stability. What provides stability, first and foremost, is getting my identity from the right things. What provides stability is treasuring my family over my work, being present as a husband, being present as a dad to my two young kids. So that's my challenge to you. Number one, recognize that your job is not stable. But number two, what are you going to do about it? What changes are you going to make? Stop sacrificing for an organization that when it meets their bottom line, they will repay your 10 years of loyalty by saying, hey, here's a Zoom call. You're laid off. 
That's all I had for you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you agree, disagree. Really would love to hear from you. And hey, y'all, I'll be back to live streaming early next week. My hands-on fishing course is done. That releases July 8th. But thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.